Oh, uh, we're going to have to cut this out and address this. It's a problem. It's too, it's such a big gap down there. I mean, you can actually see underneath it. It's coming up so high. So I think we should cut out this section and just redo it and probably cut some of the, the uh, roots of the tree too. He said uh, the delivery lady came and brought them dinner, tripped over it and threw their dinner in the bushes, which is really funny, but <laughs> going to fix that. Um, just like leaves and stuff everywhere. The gutters are full, the usual stuff. Uh, don't forget, he said you called for a pickup for the trash, but there's, I mean, quite a bit of stuff out here. I, he doesn't have keys to any of the doors at all. He gave me one garage door opener. So I am going to go to my office and see if the key that I have still works for this front door because he changed out the rest of the lock. So we'll have to rekey everything, but they're ones that we can rekey with just a little kit. And then Sarah is going to come program the garage door today. So we at least have a way to get in for today. garage there is a sprinkler pump out back but it's completely rotted out let's go through the front door hello and welcome to 130 Tiki Drive down in Florida this beautiful home boasts four bedrooms two bathrooms on a beautiful barrier island in Brevard County perfect <laughs> Wow, have you done this before? That's my first time. Pretty good. All right, so should be a you should be a realtor. Uh, let's see. Let's start with the kitchen. So he's got every wall painted of green, red, gold, a different color, and no touch up paint, so I think we should probably just paint the whole house. Uh, the cabinets are a little beat up. If you look at the bottom down here, you can see that they've had some leaking going on. So got water damage under here. Those are all moldy and gross. Underneath here too. The microwave does not work at all, so we'll have to replace that. And the refrigerator, he said works, but the ice maker's broken. Oh. You see water under there too? It's, it's been damaged really bad. Yeah. It's all gross. Okay, well, that's fixable. That has already been fixed once. Well, you can fix it again, and we could redo the, the bottom baseboards, or the kickboard, can't we? <laughs> can't we, Sarah? Can't we? Um, it's hard to match this beautiful pickling. It is hard to match the beautiful pickling. We'll see, <laughs> see what we can do. All right, so master, all the carpet's toast in the house, so we're going to have to replace it with something else. Um, I mean, the walls, you know, we're going to need to be painted anyway. They're all... They're, really dusty and you know he didn't wipe the walls down but he I think he did he did a typical man cleaning job uh this tub we can keep I think we're just going to redo some caulking in here this can probably stay too it's fine back this up just adjust the doors um what else so we've got some windows that have been replaced and some haven't I would say more that aren't some of the crank outs, he said he's got bricks in front of them on the outside to keep them shut. Um, let's see. Okay, bedroom, guest bedroom here. This room needs a window, needs some flooring. Bathroom, let's talk about that. This is the end of these, a thermofoil one and it's coming apart here. And all the all the drawers too are peeling off, so we might want to just chop pop a new one in here of those. The shower, I mean, the tile is kind of bowing out of the bottom, so I think that the it's obviously wet behind the tile. We should probably just redo the shower, at least the wall. The faucets yeah. need to be replaced. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Just a little gap there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think this. I think we need a new shower. He said this window's broken; it doesn't stay shut. He hasn't screwed shut. Um, so new window here, probably pop out this tub and shower, start over. Okay, this is the other guest room. You don't... Again, carpet's toast. These two need to be replaced, but that one's been done. So you've got kind of a mix here of done and not done. God, there's a lot of cockroaches in here. Um, mm -hmm. big, the big ones. But I don't think they've been here, so uh -huh. they've been, look they moved. That, look on that. Look, there's what? two on the screen. Dude, that's bigger than my foot. Oh, 
<gasps> that's a cockroach? Holy shit, that's the biggest cockroach I've ever seen in my life. Dude, it's almost the size of my shoe. Oh my god, that's a- like, ah! God damn it! Ah! Ellen moved, Ellen moved! <laughs> the big one's dead. Okay. Sorry, Keith, I was gonna be a <laughs> warning for the screams. Okay, so you've got, again, I think these, all three of these windows in this room need to be done. Those are all crank out still. If you're going to change the windows out, which I'm assuming you are. I'll clean that up. Yeah, yeah, please do. Thank you for the dead cockroach, Sarah. That was fuck. That definitely was the biggest one I've ever seen That's in my the life. One I've ever seen. God dang. Okay, let's go outside. So he mentioned to me that he painted the wall out here, but just this one wall. <laughs> so. The rest of the house is ready for paint too. So if you look out here, you can see we're about due for a paint job on the outside as well. Just the, except for this out little, the patio area is fine. If we're going to keep the beige, which I don't care. What? You want to paint the floor too? It should be painted. It's pretty okay. We'll, and maybe paint the floor too. Anyway, that's my list. Um, give me a call later and we can talk about it.